The relentless pursuit of something that you have no intention of keeping. Spending hundreds, even thousands of dollars on unique, specialized gear. Often traveling great distances to find some legendary honey hole. Fly fishing. For years it made no sense to me. Standing out in the middle of a cold river, whipping a stick back and forth. But here we are, as a family, trying to catch that coveted rainbow trout. Today we're heading to a location known by locals as the Dream Stream. With a name like that, it's hard not to have delusions of guaranteed success. We didn't contemplate too much on our fly selection because we were too busy thinking about our captions for our Instagram posts. Hashtag monster bow. Hashtag what a hog. All right, we're gonna try this again. Got a brand new leader tied on. I think I'm gonna try this little red guy that Caitlin's trying. See if I have any luck. I think we're gonna move over here. Just a beautiful place. Love it here. Still don't see any fish. I don't know. Seems like the few times that we've not had a rod and reel with us, we see all kinds of rainbow trout. Now that we're here with the gear, I don't see anything. Like I said, I could just hang out here right by this stream forever. It is beautiful. I am trying really hard here to learn to fly fish. And I am learning to cast. I'm just not catching anything. But man, this is a beautiful place. I could fish this stream for hours. Never catch anything. Be perfectly happy with it. <laughs> you would think that leaving empty handed would make you feel defeated, but it only feeds the madness. Maybe if I had more expensive gear, or one of those vests with shiny stuff hanging off of it. Lack of success does not necessarily equate to lack of skill. I just need to spend more money, right? Regardless, we're gonna try a new spot and have some snacks. Juice Drop Hazy IPA Pineapple Orange Breckenridge Brewery. We decided to pack up and head to a new spot. We weren't having too much luck down at the uh, Dream Stream. Perhaps it just wasn't our day. But we're gonna look for a spot to fish and maybe even do the stand-up paddleboard.
That's how you skip a rock, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Got another one from Breckenridge. It's a Hazy IPA Imperial. Uh oh, this one's 9%. I think the only thing I'm catching today is a buzz. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but uh, I ended up getting a Reddington Wrangler. It's a five weight, nine foot. And uh, oh, it's yeah, it's nine foot long. And uh, Caitlin got a Reddington Crosswater nine foot. It's a six weight. Both mine and Caitlin's came with a really nice carrying case, which is pretty cool because uh, we plan on hiking up to some alpine lakes, testing our luck up there. That's not going anywhere. <laughs>